Sue, so we're talking with someone that's so talented. Um, everyone in her family is so smart. But we bring this up because we're talking about Brad Pitt. He did a recent interview with GQ. And, of course, you know, he's one of the sexiest men alive. You've heard that for years right. and years and years. And, you know, he's obviously been with famously beautiful women. But he reveals that he believes he has face blindness. No, he doesn't have a medical diagnosis. No. But he said this years ago, and he says it again in the new issue. Yeah. And so we look this up. And it seems as if like, like one in 50 people have face blindness. That seems like a lot, because I don't know anybody who has it. I think Jen Fred says she has one friend, so let's bring That's in true. a doctor to discuss this one right Mandra now. Mandra Mera. <laughs> Hi, doctor. <laughs> nice to be back, Mike and Karen. Yeah, so great to be here. To nice you. to see familiar faces. I have no face blindness. <laughs> uh, what is your position? What did you study? Neurology, Neurology and interventional spine and pain. So this is, you've heard of this, this is real. This is my wheelhouse, we see this. So if you ask your internal med doc or your general practitioner, they may say, what's face blindness? Or I remember that from med school, but as a neurologist, this is my wheelhouse. Okay. Because I see strokes, I see post-surgical patients after tumors, I see traumatic brain injury. But as we were talking offline here, Mike said something very good, if very interesting. Is this just an acquired thing, like strokes and right. tumors and surgery? The answer is no, it can be congenital, meaning you can be born with it. Now in Brad Pitt's case, we don't know of any significant brain trauma, we don't know of any right. you know, disease process that he has going on, so he may have congenital face blindness. Well, how would you, uh, how would you describe it? What, what is it? prosopagnosia oh, so well, try to okay, say that five okay. times fast yeah it is really like if I look at beautiful Karen's face here or handsome Mike I can actually tell you okay I've got high you've got high cheekbones you've got greenish hazel eyes full symmetric lips and that's about it but if I see you again walking down the street despite having this intimate interaction I would not recognize you I would say nice to meet you that kind of thing now the degree of uh, how severe this can be very significantly so it can be just like minor but it can be so severe that people don't recognize their own mother their children some people don't actually recognize themselves so they look in the mirror and they can say yeah i know i got those big floppy ears that must be me but they actually just see kind of the pieces they see eyes nose mouth but they can't put it together how we disconcerting i know we had an image of i think a compilation of a number of different people and i can't even tell if they're all the same people with just different hairstyles or that are similar like what do we look at with something like this people like maybe they have similar traits or a similar complexions and it's just hard to make differentiations between who these people are yeah and we do formal face testing where you know we try to eliminate a lot of the hair or you know external components and just focusing on the face you you would think I could recognize my mom, my sister, my loved ones, my friends, my family, but people actually can't. And so Brad Pitt says, you know what? People will walk up to me and they think that I'm totally conceited or they think that I'm stuck up because I don't recognize them and I know that I should recognize them. So he admits this, and this is true for my patients too, Mike and Karen. They'll say it helps when people give them cues. Like, oh, remember that time we met at the July 4th parade? Or hey, remember when I saw you on set X, Y, and Z time? So how do people live with this? How do my patients live with this? How does Brad Pitt live with this? One of two ways. One, people get really isolated. They get anxious. They don't want to be socially around people because they don't want to offend people. The second way is they just work off cues. They'll remember people's hairstyle or a mustache or a mole. But God forbid, if you change one of those things, it really takes people for a you throw. You could go with voice. You could go with voice. You can go with the way people kind of move, their body shape. But you Well, know, hold on a second. Let's say I'm married to Karen. I've seen her every day for 15 years. I, think I, I would know you, wouldn't I, I? And to that end, like, if I see my husband's a big runner, I don't have to, I can't not read his facial features, but I can tell who he is running, like, hundreds and yep. hundreds of feet away. Like, I knew who my kids, by the way, that they move their bodies. Exactly. There's some of that that you can read. Yeah, and patients or, or people with this condition can still read those things. Their visual acuity is intact. They're not colorblind. Cognitively, they can be brilliant. They can be actors, doctors, all functioning There's human supposedly beings. supposedly some... A website you can go to to kind of test this but I think you would know pretty quickly in your life if you had it. One last question before you go. I'm really bad at names. I'm making a better effort in my life, but I can tell you everything about your backstory. I can tell you like your mom and she's in Harrisburg and, what, and I remember the stories, but I don't always remember names. That's sure. not the same thing, right? That's different. That's different. That's going to be a little memory thing These that, are some of that the happens that to us. Now, 
as far as you guys go, you're in media, you meet a ton of people. Now, if you meet someone 10 years later and you can't quite place them, that's not the same thing. This is people right. that that's should be memory. really <laughs> recognizable. <laughs> okay. Now, if you've had a stroke, you've had a tumor, you've had right. some it's traumatic brain injury, we know the part of the brain that's damaged. Yeah. In Brad Pitt's case, or congenital issues, it's kind of like colorblindness. People don't know they really have it till they hear about it. And they're like, oh, I thought everyone had that difficulty. Good to see you, doctor. Nice to see you, Mike and Karen. Thank wow. You.